Well, when the weather's like this, you don't really need any incentive to get out with the camera, go for a walk. I've come to Pulbra Brooks, which is another um, RSPB, that's Royal Society for the Protection of Birds, um, nature reserve, um, just near Pulbra in Sussex. It's a gorgeous place. Um, really ideal for fairly long range shots. So I've brought my um, 200 to 500 and the 1.4 teleconverter extension. Um, and I've also brought some new gear. It's always nice to have some new gear. It gives you a real incentive to get out there. Uh, this week I took delivery of the uh, Manfrotto 504X, the fluid head unit for the tripod. And um, so this is the first time to see how it goes. It's supposed to be absolutely ideal for making videos, uh, smooth pans and so on. So this is a look at uh, Poolba Brooks. We're gonna be walking down there. You can see some of uh, the lake area, um, several hides and quite a nice long walk to get down there but uh, this is up at the uh, main center which is right behind me just here Well, yet again, it's a gorgeous morning. Oh, I seem to be getting a lot of those now, which is great. Very frosty, very cold. I had to do a lot of scraping to get the uh, the windscreen clear on the car before we could leave. Um, I've been to Poolbra Brooks here many times in the past, and it's um, a very pleasant place. There are, oh, I'm trying to think, at least four hides and uh, at least three lakes. I've seen a whole variety of different uh, bird life here, including egret and heron. I've just heard from somebody that there's a marsh harrier around. So we may be lucky. Um, we'll just have to see. Um, anyway, it's a good opportunity to just get out and enjoy the countryside and the sunshine here in the sunny Sussex by the sea. As I mentioned, there are was well, a choice of four hides, so uh, I think we're going to turn left here and go and have a look at. Uh, I can't remember which is first, West Mead or Windpenny, but we'll go and see which one comes up first. Well, I can hear a lot of noise of Canada geese in the background, so plenty of them around. Oh well, this answers my question. The first hide is the West Mead hide, so we'll go in here and set up. From this first hide there were a considerable number of duck to see, including mallard, teal, widgeon and shell duck. So it was uh, yeah, very busy. Also quite a few lapwing and um, also of course in the distance uh, Canada geese. There was certainly plenty of opportunity for photographing the teal, uh, very pretty little ducks. There in the distance you can see the shell duck. I'm not sure what uh, happened to trigger this, but suddenly uh, a mass of Canada geese took off, flew a circuit, 
and then landed again. Throughout my time in the hide, several other observers kept mentioning that they could see snipe, but I couldn't, and then suddenly, there it was. Okay, so uh, moving on from the Westmead hide, we'll go uh, for a stroll along the pathway here that leads beside the lakes. Pulbra Brooks comprises quite an extensive area of uh, wetland and is dotted with numerous small ponds which provide an excellent habitat in the summer months for dragonfly, banded demoiselle and other species of damselfly. These were photographs I took back in the summer of 2021. Right, we're coming up to the Winpenny hide. I must confess I've not had a great deal of success in this hide in previous visits, but uh, you never know, Let's see what there is today. Okay, well that was at uh, Wimpenny, so we'll move on again. Um, well, that's a first. I've just had my uh, first SD car failure in the um, GoPro. So I've just had to change the card and the battery as that was going flat. Um, but uh, we'll carry on and I just hope that whatever footage I grabbed on the uh, first card has been safely stored. Anyway, we were in the, or I was in the Winpenny hide a few minutes ago. I've now come out. Um, as you can tell by the fact I'm squinting in the sunshine. It's brilliant sunshine. It's still very cold. Um, but uh, yeah, a bit of activity in the Winpenny. Uh, I was a bit unfortunate in that as I was just walking through the door, the marsh harrier flew past chasing a duck, uh, but then flew off. So uh, I didn't get that shot and um, Although if everybody could say they could see the Marsh Harrier, it was a long way in the distance and I, I wasn't able to photograph it. Anyway, we're carrying on now to um, the next hide or the next viewing station. Now walking along this path, it's usually a great spot for robins. Certainly on previous trips I've walked along here, there's always been one waiting to be photographed, but uh, I haven't seen him yet. Yes, I have seen him. He's, there he is. Well, you won't, you won't see him on the there. He's flying across the post there. I'm not going to get the big camera out here. I'm walking on. But yes, nice to see him. 
Well, this is the uh, the little hangar hide, as you can see. I'll just go down here. Oh, I've got it for myself. Probably a reason for that. Yep, there's not an awful lot out here to see or photograph. off in the way. Well I haven't stayed in little hangar I'm uh, starting to walk on up the pathway here where there's an outdoor viewing point so we're going to see what we can see from there. As I mentioned in the introduction much of um, Pulver Brooks offers really quite long range viewing for uh, us spectators not ideal for photographers and many of the bird watchers go with uh, uh, special um, viewing telescopes uh, i'm using the 200 to 500 millimeter lens with the 1.4 extension which gives me a reach of 700 millimeters yet as you can see uh, the subjects are still quite a distance away you can see here a heron just uh, taking a, uh, a morsel to eat, uh, but it's still a lovely place to go and uh, take some photographs. Well, I've now been here at uh, Pulver Brooks for three hours and it's uh, yeah, one o'clock and it's uh, still bitterly cold and it's not going to get any warmer. So it's time to head back in now and uh, get some hot soup or something and a roll. But uh, yeah, pleasant, pleasant trip round. First hide was the best, I think. Got uh, some uh, good shots there of the snipe and many other things. Uh, Pity I missed the Marsh Harrier, but uh, such is life, and uh, we'll see what happens the next time. But time to put this lot together. Well, it's great, it stayed fine all day. Just a few fluffy clouds building, which is very pleasant. That's a last look out over the reserve. And uh, just up here, we'll return to the uh, starting point, the visitor centre. Well, as we leave Pulbra Brooks, it just r remains for me to say thank you so much for taking the time to watch this little video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you, if you have, then please do give it a like. And also, I'd be very grateful if you would uh, subscribe and you'll see notifications of future videos that I plan to make uh, like this of different uh, wildlife locations here in Sussex. Thanks again. Look after yourselves. Stay safe.